Hello. Today we're gonna talk with my friend from Hungary, Istvan Pali. And yeah, let's connect. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Jó napot kívánok! <laughs> Whoa, look at that! <laughs> um, good How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you so much. I'm so excited, a little bit nervous, I don't want to oh. say. So... <laughs> don't be, don't be, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. How are you? How are you in, in the US right now? Yeah. We currently moved here, and we, we're gonna be here for a while. Mm. And are you working right now? Or on a vacation? Oh, yeah. I started teaching here. Yeah, started teaching Ooh. here. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. All we... oh, my friends are coming. Hey, everyone. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see Oliver. Everyone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. So. Hey. How how how, how is your Sunday? in Hungary? My Sunday, honestly, uh, right now I'm with my friend. Uh, we're waiting for the NBA All-Star Weekend, so we're really excited about that. But my day was um, nice, nice. Uh, with my girlfriend, we visited uh, uh, my girlfriend's parents. We spent the whole weekend from Friday till today, so we traveled back to to our hometown and uh, right now I'm with friends with Chubby. Say hi. Hi guys. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> for the the, uh, the All-Star Weekend. He's working right now. He's a guard. He has a night watch, <laughs> if you mm -hmm. know how. And uh, I'm just helping to keep him to uh, awake. So <laughs> <laughs> something like that. <laughs> And how are you teaching now in Hungary? Do you have any classes now in Hungary, in Budapest? Do you teach now? Uh, I know. We have a really hard time in, in Hungary, I think, because uh, uh, the third way just started uh, three wow. days ago. The government said, uh, announced the new rules in Hungary. So these two weeks will be the hardest one, I think. And uh, everybody, everyone, no. All of the shops and uh, ev ev everything has to be closed right now. So wow. we have a really hard time right now. And uh, it will be start on Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, shops have to be closed. Restaurants are closed for half a year, maybe. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now we have seven thousands of infected people per day right now so the third wave just just begin yes in hungary right now so it's really suck <laughs> oh that's crazy that's that's sad to hear really like i'm yeah, so yeah. sad for you guys yeah yeah but at the same time uh the government tried to give the vaccine to other people but It's a real bit hard. It's really hard right now. So yeah. So, during this year, since last time I saw you guys, like a year ago, right? It it was right yep. before everything started in Europe because in Ch in China yeah. it started in January, right before yes. I left China. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so how but basically all, yeah. all this Sorry? year. Hmm? Excuse me. Uh, I say uh, how how was that all year like? Okay, now it's locked down. But did you have mm -hmm. any classes like during this year? It's really hard, really hard right now. Cause days ago that was the first anniversary to find the virus in Hungary. In days ago, mm -hmm. so it's only one year in uh, in Hungary. So and uh, all of the gyms uh, had to be closed in Hungary. That's the reason all of the dance schools have to. Uh, put the classes to online so we yes all the time we had uh, online classes once in the summer uh, with the red one we had a summer camp and uh, tons of the schools have had uh, 
uh, summer camps as well because uh, we had a small break in the summer because the government thought uh, we out of this. We went out of this. So we had a summer camp, but out of these, only online classes, only online classes, and still still happening just the online classes. We're waiting for to go back to the studio. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're making the online classes right now. We're taking and uh, giving online classes and so on and so on. It's really hard. Hungary is really small. And uh, in the beginning of the, the virus, everyone was... Uh, uh, motivated, as you know, mm-hmm. it's really strange to say that, but but every everyone was a little bit hyped because oh my god, this is new stuff, online classes, I can be at home, I can take classes and so on. But right now, I think everyone uh, tired of this, you know, uh-huh. and uh, really, really to keep the motivation in the students, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. been a long time. It's been a long time. Like, yeah. when I arrived here, for example, in November, oh, October, uh, yep. it was, everything still was closed here too. But now, they slowly open. You know, like now I have uh, classes in the dance studio. And, mm-hmm. yeah, it's uh, less people, of course, than before COVID, as people here say. Uh, but they're still open and having, like, people in the class mm-hmm. and you can go teach and uh, in two weeks I'm traveling to the monsters dance it's like convention mm-hmm. for dancers mm-hmm. uh, for like workshops so meaning is they still have it they have a lot of precautions and everything but but it's still working in the same time we meanwhile in LA like we know LA has so many classes studios and everything now um uh like uh, during the second wave besides the movement lifestyle and other studios now kinjas dojo closed their last mm-hmm. studio you know like kinjas yeah. they in the first wave they survived and then they closed it now and things like that like meaning la is suffering a lot too like a dance community like suffering a lot and it's not like before and uh, a lot of dancers moved out of LA, went to the hometowns, or just went to some other places for dancing. Because LA doesn't uh, doesn't behave well during this COVID. Like government doesn't like um, state government doesn't treat California proper way. So people losing their businesses, losing their jobs and everything. So they're trying to move to another states to just pursue their career and make money for their living and yeah so yeah here is a little bit better but still still yes in hungary yeah in hungary the difference is right now the dance schools is uh, are not suffering as just the dancers so i have a lot of friends who have had to quit dancing as a job or hobby and so on and find a Another job, for example, tons of the dancers went to food delivery, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Krzysztof, yeah. um, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So it's really sad, really sad right now. But mm, I hope uh, the virus won't affect on uh, on the dance schools. You know. Yeah. So that's, it's that not affecting dance schools. No. It doesn't affect dance schools. Mm. Mm. Like not like to the, to the dancers, not like to the dancers. A lot of dance schools are suffering right now, but uh, the dancers are suffering more than the dance schools, if you know what I mean, okay. right now. We're in this section right now. So, so yes, yes, yes. It's really, 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 really bad right now. So, what about you? You're not teaching now. What are you doing? Uh, me... Uh, it's a little bit interesting because I have online <laughs> classes. Uh, mm-hmm. I have online classes right now. Uh, um, I'm teaching only on two days, Monday and Wednesday. And mm-hmm. out of the, I started uh, an online dance studio named Koba, means ah, yeah. mm-hmm. And in this uh, platform, I'm trying to uh, 
collect all the highest level instructors in Hungary and uh, bring some international faces as well. So right now I'm working really hard on this. So maybe that's the reason why I I'm not focusing on the COVID because I don't have time to focusing on this one. And I'm really glad to have this opportunity and working with this uh, with my girlfriend. So uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, our mission is to keep the motivation in the in the Hungarian dancers, and that's the reason why we started this platform. And uh, yeah, who use this platform really love it. Yeah. <laughs> So, so it's not yeah. Red One's platform. Is your platform or it's Red One's? Yes, yes, yes. This is uh, our, not mine, our platform. Yes, this is a, um, yeah, it's a really bad word, but a free agent one. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we we're working with the all of the high quality dance schools in Hungary. Mm -hmm. So Red One as well, Our Kingdom as well, and mm -hmm. and. A lot of uh, teachers from the uh, with the style of old schools, named Get Down Tuesday, for example, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's the online dance studio. We're uh, working. Well, I'm teaching online as well, and uh, that's all. That's all. This is me right now. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard because everything uh, closed in here, and. Uh, it's really hard to find something new and special things right now. Yeah. What about just in Europe? Like, like how how are other countries in Europe now? In Europe, uh, I think this. Uh, I think it's the same. Uh, different places has the different time when they have the waves of the coronavirus. For example, London is over from the third one. Maybe uh, out of the third wave, we just started the third wave, but I can say all the countries suffering right now. For example, you know the biggest uh, uh, summer camps cannot okay. organize the camps. For example, we don't know will we have fair play, I dance, who got skills, and so on. All the um, mm -hmm. Yes, for the biggest one, and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all a question. When will we be uh, out of this? It's a really big question, I think. So, yeah, in Europe, I can say it's the same in, in Hungary. But, uh, you know, and, um, yeah, I have a friend from London, from Italy, from Spain, and so on, and everyone said uh, it sucked, you know. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> everyone waiting waiting to okay we want to be out of this we want to be out of this and so on and so on but no one knows when there is no uh, hundred percent answer to okay we're out of this this time after the third one we we cannot know uh, will come uh, a fourth wave or a fifth one and it's uh, it's really bad because we don't know we cannot organize and we cannot plan anything just because of this. And uh, it's really scary, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just going to wait and see what happens. Yeah, just wait. But people don't have patience right now. And that's, the, that's our motivation and our, our mission as, a, as an instructor to keep the motivation in the students. So it's really hard. On the okay. first wave, we have new experience. But right now, in the third one, next one, New rule, new lockdown, and so on. Really hard, and everyone tired of, of, of this. So, yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> but all the time I say, um, for example, not for example, all the time I say, you have to find your motivation. So no one tells you, okay, if you want to be a good dancer, take all the online classes and so on and so on you have to find your motivation so yeah i think the good part in the lockdowns and uh, not the virus in the lockdowns mm -hmm. uh, all the high quality instructors had and give a lot of opportunities to learn in free for example i had a lot of classes from julian 
uh, I saw Isabel had a lot of classes. As you can take a lot of class for free at home from the previous quarter, you can say, you know. So, yeah, 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 pros and cons in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm kind of uh, like happy too because now online have so many like cool classes too you know like before i would need to travel buy plane ticket travel and spend a lot of money for that while now i can just pay like very cheap fee compared to what is cost to physically go somewhere and still i can take classes like of some of teachers i want you know and it's kind of cool yes 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 So it's, good, good. Okay. it's different. It takes time to like used to it, but still can work if you just put work into it. You just need to motivate yourself to like to do online classes. Okay. You just need to motivate yourself because there's no teacher who will motivate you. Of course, they will say something, but in the end, you the one who will go twenty times to just perfect each move, you know and. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the hard point of online. But besides that, I kind of like like certain platforms was created because of these uh, lockdowns and this uh, pandemic mm -hmm. and new opportunities, which was like which is open now. Yeah, but overall, mm, like <laughs> pandemic hit me hard. You know, I I'm out of my country where I lived for so many years where I build everything, whereas my old students are companies, my own company, my own brand, everything is there. I just got, got cut in, in one moment. Mm -hmm. So I definitely, I cannot say anything good about this <laughs> COVID. <laughs> I am very like, like against it, but what I can do and just moving on, you know, moving on and keep doing what you love to do and pushing hard. Period. Of course. Yeah. Oh. Yes, of course. But everyone has a difference. Every everyone needs the connection, the dance room, and the and the the atmosphere. But right now, I said, and I, I'm saying it right now, this is the time to step back one, just of improve yourself, and you can step twice to the front uh, st step no. yeah. yeah you know what I mean It's, yeah and you know one good thing happened this year for me uh, I got n a knee injury and Whoa. yeah first time like I danced for like 20 something years and first time I got injured and oh. and actually this give me a little bit time to rest more because I used to like train a lot every day and I was just like I could just spend all day in my bed. It didn't happen like in eight years straight, I think. Mm -hmm. I never had even chance to lay down in my bed, you know, just like, <laughs> just go sleep at the night. And yeah. you know, this time, like you can just lay down, no one's bothering you. It was a little bit crazy too, because you used to like going, 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 and then boom, nothing. And yeah. this is the hardest time. thing. Yeah. yeah. You know, like when you live in big city and when you like already work in an industry, it's like going, it's going, it never stops. And yeah. So anyways, how is your style? Like, how is your dance style? Everyone, since time I visited the right one, <laughs> everyone was like, oh, you should dance style. But I know you are a fan of Frank Franklin. And yeah, yeah. he's pretty like how to say he's in china so we um, no he's in china kind of like like we love him too you know and yeah. chinese people love him too um yeah so how is your style how is everything with you when, when you started to actually dance like your style how you discovered it um, how you ended up dancing basically, basically i started dance in a maybe in the 2010 or 11 so mm -hmm. i'm dancing for 11 years but i'm teaching only for five or maybe six years right now and in the beginning that was uh, really hard so not the beginning the half of my 
career was really hard because I was learning and I was uh, trying to find myself. I tried a lot of things, a lot of times. I had a lot of uh, failed uh, in my life, in my dance career. And uh, maybe I found this style a few years ago, a few years ago with uh, Franklin Jumaro, with the with these dancers, because um, I figured out I really love this shape of the dance and this isolation technique, and uh, and I'm really I'm a really tall dancer, so that's a con uh, for me, and that's the reason why I try to uh, train to dance more more clean, you know, and uh, and I, I when I. I could say, okay, when I'm dancing clean enough, put it to the next level. And I, that's the, that was the time when I found Franklin, for example. Franklin, you who make uh, really interesting things, and I want to learn this, and I want to take it. And, uh, and yeah, I don't want to say my style is the isolation technique. What uh, Anthony from the Kinjas use it, Franklin use it. I know it's not a common or a popular style uh, right now, but I think that's interesting, eye-capturing. I really love the eye-capturing stuff. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I think this isolation is the most uh, eye-capturing stuff. So mm -hmm. that's the reason why I love it. And in Hungary, uh, no one doing it. Uh, so that's the reason why I choose it. I want to train it out of, uh, except... Uh, I love it. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. But yeah, um, I'm dancing for 11 years. I had a lot of opportunities uh, in my dancing career. And yes, of course, I was pushing myself. So I had uh, really good instructors in the beginning, of course. Who and was that? Uh, Who was them? Uh, when I started dancing in a dance school called uh, No Comment, and, uh, there was a, a woman, a woman instructor called uh, Judith, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he uh, gave me a lot of good uh, um, basics. Yes, in really good. Style? Uh, which style? style? Mm, that wasn't a style. That was uh, about coordination. You know, right now uh, it's really hard to say that uh, dancing in this. Uh, who I don't want to put any offense, but it's really hard to say. That was uh, about coordination, and uh, but most of the, most of the time, mm, I can say the style, the old school style. Locking uh, house dance and uh, hip hop, old school hip hop as well, and uh, maybe that's the reason why I can I could improve. Uh, to hear where I am right now. So, uh, yeah, that was in the in the beginning. So it has it gave me really good uh, basics. Then I could, oh, then I could uh, improve myself. Yes, because in Hungary all the time, uh, everyone doing the old schools or open choreo things, but the open choreo in the way like you know, uh, the groove thing. I think the groove is the most important in dancing. That in my mind, there were, okay, groove and isolation is the perfect one. So, <laughs> so yeah. But, Do you know all. where, like, Kinjas and Franklin and kind of people who dance, like, kind of that style, maybe Bram Puspos too, right? He's a little bit like, like that, right? Uh, where, where do they take inspiration? How do you think? My inspiration uh, in the where beginning. Where came from? Uh, where it came from? Yeah, like those kind of styles. Like how they uh, end up doing that. Like I want to take a step uh, a little bit back. So my first inspiration, uh, inspiration. Uh, it's a little bit crazy, but that was Kai Hanagami for me. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, yes. And 
there were one opportunity uh, when the first time he went to the Fair Play Dance Camp in a, in a winter edition. That was the reason why I uh, uh, went to an international dance camp. That was the first time and that was the first reason why I came here and that was uh, Kyle. Kyle. Mm -hmm. And before I went to the this dance camp, I was a really close die boy, you know how I mean. I was like, okay, dancing is only this, and 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 wow. that's all. When I went to the uh, this dance camp, just because uh, to learn from Kai, I met for the first time with Lai Beniga, Ryan Pusco, Wide Beast Adams, and so on, Dennis Food, and so on. And uh, I was shocked, like, oh my god, is this happening right now? And uh, oh, I was okay. like, okay. Let's push on myself. Let's working. Okay, okay. This uh, camp was uh, really good. I had two Hall of Fame cards. Oh my God, from Kyle and from Wadabi. So that was a really good um, um, opportunity for me. So he was my first um, inspiration. But in this uh, in this camp, I had new ones uh, like Brian Puspos. Right now, Brian Puspos is my god. Is my god okay. of everything. And, uh, yes, after this camp, I was uh, following everyone. Brian Pulse for Sianis, food, new faces, and so on. Talking a lot with the people who love, uh, who love which uh, instructors and so on. So, yeah, first one was Kai Hanagami. After that, Ryan Pulse post, then Franklin knew. So, yeah, and right now... I could say, I can say three names. There's Jun Cremado, Brian Puspos, and Franklin is uh, inspiring me because I can, um, I can, um, gosh, I forgot the word. Uh, I can, um, gosh. So I can understand what they're doing, <laughs> what they're doing. the technique, the, the vibe, uh, the R&B, um, Thing, what they doing and so on yes 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 yeah. so right now these three, these three guys yeah from inspiration yeah yeah i i met all of them as well i met all of them as well and um bram Puspo's class was very hard for me that time when i met him first time i was wasn't still like in that level to like catch it clean how he did it yeah. or catch a death fast how he do do it was very challenging what floor movements <laughs> huh? what time floor movements and so on <laughs> yeah it was very challenging and yes yeah. yes but when when i took like kinja's class i didn't take franklin's class because um he was on tv show i was here before and next year i didn't go but he went, oh, actually, it's this year. Because of COVID, I didn't go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we we never met. But, for example, when King just danced, um, they, it's all very much isolated. It's different than pr Brian. It's different. And But I know from King just that the inspiration of their style, like Anthony Lee is dancing, is from the movies. It's from the Chinese Kung Fu movies. And mm. all those Bruce Lee movies. I'm yes, of course. sure, because they said that. And yeah, they said all the time they had an inspiration from the martial art. Yes, you know? yes. And they like to watch the movies. If you see the staging, like when they do the performances, they did on that TV show, for example, any competition, is always some entrance, is always exit, is always more like, something showtime it's not only mm. like we came out on stage and we dance choreo with formations and we go out wow it was so cool it's yeah, more it has like, a good thing of course yeah like even when they take time like da, boo, da, they take time to like just like do something you know to make that style yeah so for me it was very interesting that they said it's from martial arts because i know from bruce lee like from hong Kongese uh actor right who did first 
martial art movies. I saw the documentary about it, and they say that it's all choreographed. So all yeah. those hands, all those hits, is all choreographed yeah. and repeated many times. So how cool is that, right? Like boom, boom, whatever they do there is all planned, right? And yes. it's so hard. And yes. dancers just they took that idea and make it into art of dance and that now this style is like taking over like, yes and they show to everyone how it can be shown in dance besides grooves and besides like styles we knew before so it's yep. it's very interesting like for me too yes you know? but the power in hands is so crazy do you train yes. some of your hands or something for making like yes. dead uh, hard explosions that clean uh, how, how you uh, yes i have a lot of, lot of uh, drills so okay. what i practice all the time and uh, it's a little bit weird but you have to stretch your uh, wrist your your arm as well so, you know if you want to make a really good angle like this you have to stretch it so so that way and that way and it's a little bit strange but when i realized uh, how, why I can make this angle and the answer was I'm sleeping in this way so <laughs> so and then that's I, why I, you got it <laughs> I, I was really proud oh my god I have a really good angles and so on and so on and once when I couldn't sleep I realized oh my god uh, what kind of position like am I sleeping what kind of position am I sleeping so <laughs> wow so yeah for there's a story of this angle, but yeah, I had a lot of uh, drills, and I think to make more cleaner movement, it's about a drill of uh, I call it uh, brain gaming, and I mean like when you try to make one uh, uh, drill, you got one, for example, arm drill, mm -hmm. and you make. Uh, really big uh, I think it's a little bit different to say in Hungarian but I try it uh, make a, a delay with mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, in this drill I mean like you've got <laughs> let me show you so yeah show us show us we want to know everyone knows. <laughs> for example everyone knows you've got oh shish. so you've got this drill yeah okay you get that put down your elbows lift up your hands for example, and I think if you want to make more cleaner movement, you have to uh, make the brain game like you have one rhythm delay with the hands. For example, the right one comes first, then the left one, and the left one is following the right one. And making yeah. really hard uh, drills with this method. I have, uh, for example, um, a two eight count drill and trying to make. Uh, not break, but a delay in the movements. For example, here comes it. Arm, 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 arm. Oh my God, it's so, so weird because you cannot see my hands. But uh, <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah you have to train your brain to uh, to be coordinated. So, for example, if you lift up your right arm, this is a straight line. Mm -hmm. Hundred, uh, uh, hundred of hundred. You have to find this part as a basic. So you have to uh, yeah, practice the basics all the time, clean your moves, and a lot of drills. That's the reason why I hit it nicely, and that's the reason why I can say it's um, cleaner. Yeah. Did you make those drills yourself, or did you saw some? Uh, I had basic. I had basics, and I put it to the next level. So I cannot create ones because we've got a really big history of dancing and all of my all the time I say to my students, if you want to do everything, you have to learn the practice, not just the knowledge, uh, the styles as well. So when I knew, for example, Brian is Brian just because first he knew break, locking and, and these styles. And mm. after that, he could uh, put it to put the the skills on the next level, and that's my story as well. I really love house dance, hip hop, and locking. I learn it. Um, 
enough to improve myself or put my skills to the next level. That's the reason why I find the groove. And uh, after this, I could thinking about coordination and isolation. So, yeah, and I learned a lot of drills and I practiced the drill, but, you know, when you, for example, for example when you know the drill and uh, practice too much, it's not, um, you cannot improve enough if you make a drill thousands of the time. So have to learn new stuff. And that was the reason I had a, a drill. I learned a drill and uh, I wanted to put it on the next level, make it more hard, more difficult and so on. Yeah, I understand. So I learned, I learned the, the drills and I put it on the next level. And do you still dance, uh, like train the same amount you was before when you just started? Or it can be less, or it's the same time. Like this, do you, can you say, so, like, do you practice more now than you did before, or did you practice more when you started and now you can just more chill and just vibe? Um, different, cause, cause life is about training. So, of course. Okay. I'm down. And it's uh, really hard to answer, but of, uh, I'm trying to be honest. Maybe I practice my drills and uh, and uh, in the beginning, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm practicing right now as well, but maybe I put more time in the beginning. I'm trying to uh, give these drills to my students. So right now I'm not creating new work. Mm. Uh, right now I'm focusing on my choreography, which I have uh, new time, you know. And uh, yeah. yes. I understand. Yeah, that's cool. So besides ka, 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 this drill, what okay. else you have? Basic. Basics. Oh my gosh. Um, a lot. A yes, lot. I have a lot. I have a lot. I have a lot, and I have a lot of de with the with details and delays. So, um, yeah, and this screen is too small for. for <laughs> <this> one, so. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you involve legs too, right? Like lower body, you involve mm -hmm. legs. Too. Yes. Uh, not enough like arms, but yes, I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think it's very really important to be uh, coordinated with your whole body and you to um, feel the full spot, like in a stage, if you're doing a solo or if you're in a, in a class and you have an opportunity to do a solo uh, and for, feel the space and use your legs. So, so yes, of course, I think it's in balance. It's in balance, but I think, you know, my, my main, main style is, is about my own. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And where do you take your inspirations for like pictures? Like when you dance, like with your arms, where do you take inspirations? Like where your thoughts come from? How you think? Like when you're trying to picture something and what is that? How how it where it, it's where really it hard. Well, it's really hard because it depends on the music, of course. Mm. And uh, for me, it's so much easier to choreograph an R and B song because I can feel it and I can more take mm. uh, myself in this song. In the picture, it's really hard to say because it's dependent on the music. But at the time, I'm trying to find the the eye capturing part, like I said. And uh, yes, yep, yep, yep. I you know, if if someone, if someone uh, watching me from the front, from the front. Uh, no, wrong, wrong example. For example, uh, all the time I don't want to photograph you know, only in a 2D motion, 
mm-hmm. we have three dimension. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you see, you're trying to see something, we have three dimension. I'm not dancing all all the time in front of you, for example, and uh, and yeah, but trying to feel the space in the way like that. It's really hard for me. It depends on the music, so yeah. But mainly, it's R and B songs. Yeah, for me, R and B songs, future basses, mm-hmm. and uh, and yeah. Uh, Sounds and music like uh, has a lot of details mm-hmm. of beats, so, so I can, I can, I, I can feel these ones. These ones. If you, if sometimes you have little breaks, four counts of breaks, then seven and eight and counts. Mm-hmm. So I really love this kind of music and so on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, because me, I. Mm, I don't know. When I like the song, I just want to choreograph to it. And just sometimes, in order to choreograph for it, I just need to switch the style. I like grooves and more like feel, but cool, feeling cool or something. But sometimes I I hear some like dance hall music, and I just can't mm-hmm. like I love the beat, you know, and everything, and I just mm-hmm. do that. So for a long time, me as growing growing up as a choreographer or yep. teacher like i would be like so confused what is my style is because whatever song i hear i would just choreograph to it but using like jazz and then maybe using dance hall and maybe then using uh just funk maybe using hip-hop maybe using like some pictures with their hands you know and some like style always was shifting for me and people will ask me like what style you are but just because i was training in all the styles i love house too by the way it's one of my favorite and um, just because I train in all styles, I think I was searching still for what is my base mainly. And I was just jumping through all the styles, you know. So sometimes for me to build the class was even challenging because people didn't mm-hmm. know what to expect sometimes. Like it, it will be something that or something this or something like that. They didn't know, you know, and... So that's why, um, yeah, you're saying that you like have purposely like side of the songs that's making sense because that's your style and that's how you can produce what you do, yeah, for yeah. for those songs. If I give you just some like hip hop song with like a uh, heartbeat, but that's static beat, like just like yes, let's go, like or something like that. I don't know if you can do a lot with that, you know. So mm-hmm. yeah is is interesting for everyone who's like just watching just understand that it's or will watch this video in the future just understand that it's normal you know like to find your style and stay within your music or just choreograph for different styles until you find your well, main vibe like, like i said I, I need uh, i needed five years to find myself so <laughs> of yeah, course exactly. you, have to, you have to uh collect a really big uh, knowledge and from this big knowledge you can make a small circle where you can say that's you exactly exactly yes, yes. Uh, but basically in your uh, opinion right now uh, in this lifetime i'm using to train my groove stuff so right now i'm cho- trying to choreograph uh, uh, choreos with more grooves so oh. it's really hard for me and i'm trying to <laughs> train this trying to put a balance between the arms and the grooves and uh, of course it's really hard to me <laughs> and really hard really hard but uh, right now i'm working on this so <laughs> yes, yes, yes good good so then new stuff is coming up yeah of course, I hope, I hope. <laughs> all the time yeah <laughs> But I don't have uh, enough time to record it, so <laughs> <we'll see. laughs> you know I have a camera. I'm really excited about that. I have a really good concept, and I hope I could record it on the next week. So uh, yeah, it has a it's a groovy one, a groovy one. So I don't know. Yay. It's, uh, I'll be so waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I hope I can record it. I hope I can post to the guys. And so on. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, 
So for example, we almost covered all the questions, but just I had this question from what we just talked, like, uh, for example, in your dance journey, like choreographing, teaching, or just being a dancer before, uh, like what most challenging parts was for you? And what was challenging to transition from from dancer to like teacher or from dancer to choreographer or, mm -hmm. you know, what's challenging yeah. about Yes, that? what was the challenging the most challenging part for me was uh, collect my knowledge, of course, but I think the most hardest uh, part was to learn how can I share my knowledge with the student. So oh, that, was the, that was the hardest part in my whole time. And maybe that makes you an instructor or just a dancer. Because all the time I said, I know that that's a bad thing, but not the good... Uh, the good dancer isn't a good teacher, and a good teacher not all the time a good dancer. So, for me, that was the hardest to uh, to uh, translate my knowledge to the students. So how can I teach my arms? How can I teach my drills? How can I teach my uh, choreos? And uh, how my students will understand my choreos? Can make the choreo? Can make the choreo in a way? Like I want to see and so on. So I think the most challenging to me was that to uh, maybe that that's the that's the uh, maybe the the uh, the word of teaching, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. And how so, do you overcome it? Did you have like people say, "Oh, I don't like his class"? Like, of course, all the time. All the time. All the time. Like I said. Like, uh, like I said, my style isn't a, a common one or a popular one so all the time. Had, uh, um, for example, you know, I had a class with 16 people, but in the end, uh, there were only 20. So, yes, I have a lot of all of this, but all the time I said, um, that's the perfect if you can find challenging stuff. You know? so, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. If you if you um, if you went out from a class, that's a fail. You know, you got a new stuff. You cannot make it, and you just passed out from the class. You just walk away. And I think that's that's not a not a good start. All the time I say to my students, be happy. I can I can show you some new stuff. Mm -hmm. So, but. Uh, yeah, it's really hard, really hard, really hard. Yes, I, I had pros, cons, offenses, offenses. That is in that, it's a polio, and then so on. If you would take a polio away from me, nothing. And uh, yeah, it's really hard, but mm, yes, I just take it away, throw it away. But I, I, I could say, that's me. <laughs> if okay. you don't love me, go to another class. Learn something new, something else, and that's all. But meaning, it doesn't affect you, like emotionally. No, 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 no. no. Never. Yeah. I was like, uh, in my mind, my mental thinking, uh, uh, just look, look for, it, you know. So yeah. yes. And it doesn't affect your like work, like with the studios, for example. Maybe students didn't like your class in studio, doesn't contact you anymore, or something like that. Do you no, no. That? no, no, <laughs> no, they still like advise you. Me. Me. Yeah, no, yes, yes, yes. So, because, yeah. yeah, because actually, when I took your class in Red One, everyone was so yeah. frustrated, and I was laughing because. I'm familiar with this style, and everyone is like, "Yo, his style is so, yo, his style is so something. His style is so so." And I'm like, "What? <laughs> this style is there already many years. Like, you know, like yeah. it's cool style. I like, yes, yeah, give it to me. You know? you know, a lot of people, a lot of people say, okay, it's hard, and try something easier. You know, that, that's a really bad mentality. When hungry." What is hard? I can <laughs> learn. I can do easy, easy thing. So yeah. But if you practice it, it will 
eventually will not be hard, you know, and eventually you will get it and eventually you will enjoy it as any other style. It's just something new. It's not yes. hard. It's something different and new. That's all. It's not like un undone or something. You already done it. So, so cool. humans can do it, you know, <laughs> kind of. Yeah. But it's okay. You're breaking the barriers for Hungarian students and Hungarian communities. So, yes, thank you. You're the first one, so for you it will be the hard part. After you, whatever who comes after, after you will be easier for them. Yes, of course. Of course. Yes, of course. Um, if the process is too long, you know, very hard to give the motivation. You know, mm. and and that's the reason why I try to make uh, drills when you can learn easily these uh, isolations and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, it's yeah, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I love it. People love it. I capturing thing. So that's a good one. Yeah, of course. Exactly. Exactly. There was there will be always someone who will say something. That's fine. You know, we're all different. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone has own choice, right? Like yeah. Yeah, so what is your future goals for the last question and we will be wrapping up. So what is your future goals? Um, honestly, uh, took my online dance studio on the next level and uh, hold the positive energy in my student, the patient, the process, the motivation. And of course, dance is my life, and I'm uh, trying to make everything uh, to keep dancing with the hunger and community, you know. So, yes. Yeah, that's the reason to make an online dance studio, uh, prepare 100% all of my classes with, with the technology with me. So, yeah, that's my goal. It's really hard to say what's my goal, you know, because you cannot see. When will it be this end? So, uh, really hard to say. But my goal is, uh, is this with dancing, about dancing. Uh, of course, I want to spend uh, enough time with my family as well. So, uh, before the pandemic, uh, I had a lot of workshops uh, as well in the summer, for example, and had to travel a lot. And, um, in this pandemic, I realized uh, I have to put more time to the family, and uh, I think that's the most important. Yes, uh, yeah. exactly. Uh, that's that's my goal. That's my goal right now, and train a lot, of course. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How, every day? Do you train every day? Uh, I choreographing every day, so. Yeah. And uh, training right now less than earlier, honestly, less than earlier. But if I train, I train a lot every two days, three days. And so I'm taking classes, drills, choreographing, and so on. For me, choreographing is a, is a training as well. So I'm trying to uh, find new solutions all the time. So I'm searching at, at the same time. So, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Nice. Everything. So you're choreographing every day new piece or just choreographing? Like maybe same piece? Yeah. For, uh, I'm for every day. For the choreographing for the classes. Uh, a lot of time, I don't know if you know me, you know, I'm making a really long pieces. Mm -hmm. So I need a lot of time to choreograph only one song, honestly, just because of the details and so on. I want to do it for a really good, you know, and uh, I need so much time to making this mm -hmm. choreo. Or maybe I need week, weeks, one, two weeks to make one choreo. I change a lot of things, a lot of eight count in, in sections. And uh, yeah, just because I'm trying to search new solutions. Wow, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you try to to find something new, some new ways. Yeah. All the time, yes. 
Yay, that's so cool. Thank you. You're inspiring everyone by saying that, you know. I'm trying, I'm trying, and thank you <laughs> for having me. I'm also glad to to be in here and uh, talking a little bit. So right? that's on me too. I'm so glad. I was all year I was thinking, Oh my god, how is like Hungarian friends like like we met yeah. last year and like yeah. how are they doing? Like how is like everything in Budapest, you know, and just, just really wanted to know how how are you guys, you know? And mm. so nice talking to you, really. Really. Okay. And, me too. Yeah. Just stay safe and I hope everything will finish up soon and Mm, new ways will come our way. Yeah, <laughs> new new yeah, things will come yeah. our way. Yeah. Better things like then it's now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. So yeah, we're almost done. It's almost one hour. So I just want to wish you good health, good health to your family, yeah. to your girlfriend, to your parents, yeah. to your friends. Yeah. And... Take care, take care. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so thank you, I everyone. Wish... Yeah. <laughs> and to everyone who's watching, who will watch this in, uh, yeah. like, in the post. And, yeah. And I wish you good students. <laughs> thank How you so much. Students. <laughs> yeah, so Motivated students, of course, as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'll see you next time, right? On Hungary. Yeah. Or you come to stay. Yeah. Or you come to China. I hope I, could, I hope I have an opportunity for this. So, yeah. yeah you will, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, yeah. very nice talking to you. Thank you. And Thank have you a so great much. night. I you think it's so 11, so 12 already. Okay. Of course, here comes the All-Star weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. oh, no. Just kidding. So, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate a lot. Thank so, you. Yeah, take care, take care. <laughs> yeah. Take care, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs> Good night.